Hello everyone, this is Iman Khan from Microsoft. So today I'm going to show you guys how to upload your Next.js 14 websites in cPanel. And normally we like to use Varsal, but in Varsal there is for uh, more, more than 100 MB files are not going to be uploaded in there uh, for freely. So for, so for that uh, we will need, uh, we will need um, paid uh, subscription. So whatever for production based softwares, uh, the cPanel is very much, uh, very much uh, worthy for use so i am not gonna waste more time uh, of you guys so let's just jump into it and i will show you guys how to upload your next year's for 14 websites in cpan so let's jump into it okay so in here uh, you guys can see uh, i have uh, I, I have come uh, in my next year's website so i'll go, go there and i will click cmd and in the control panel i will create a uh, create a uh, Next.js website. So the command is npx create next app and I will name it as next upload. Okay, so next upload or next website. Next web upload, let's say. Okay, so I will just uh, install the website. So we will will we use TypeScript? No. Then yes, it no. Uh, Tenant says no. Source directory yes. App router yes. Then allies, allies, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'll just begin with an enter. So it's uploading. So let's wait for it. Okay, so in here we can see that uh, it's uploaded. Uh, it's, it's, it's downloaded actually, totally. So I'll go to the file. And for going to the file, I'll click CD. And my uh, app name is next uh, web upload. Okay, so I'll just go in here and uh, I will show you guys npm run dev. So after clicking it, uh, we can see. Okay, the website is uh, coming and it's taking a little time. Okay, so we can see this is this is the website we can see and we will host it in live server. Okay, so for this, uh, I will just cross it and I will go to that uh, that website which is next. We'll upload okay so first of all what we have to do we will just have to open it in our VS code editor and after uh, after doing so after coming in our VS code editor we have to uh, make three changes first of all we have to make a server.js file server.js uh, let's see okay the spelling mistake server.js file in server.js file we need some uh, we need some codes uh, I will share the codes with you uh, uh, in my video description uh, but from my another project I'm taking this so I will just copy these codes and will come up here and just paste and in uh, in next.js uh, doc you uh, in, in next.js uh, dot org website you also can find this server.js by uh, by just pasting um, uh, by just uh, writing there um, yeah, writing there Mm, writing the server the JS or something like that okay anyways I will share the course with you guys in description so uh, if you if you if you get that from nextjs.org website then you have to uh, make a changes in this line uh, for const port this will be process.env.port uh, and there will be 3000 okay so I will save the code then I will have to make uh, changes in my next uh, next dot uh, config.js file and I also have to make a change in our package.json in place of start we need to we need to replace this uh, we need to replace this code so what we have to write there uh, that is okay so that is that is this so we will take a uh, start uh, node underscore env equal production node server.js. So this server.js actually is indicating uh, indicating this this server.js file actually. So I will come up here and I will place it there. And in next underscore config, uh, we just need to make a change in here. Uh, we just have to write output and then export. Okay. So we have to write it uh, and all done. Then we have to just uh, we just have to uh, delete this dot next folder. In next just for uh, fourteen website, you can see there is a dot next folder from the very beginning when you run npm run dev or 
and then run build then uh, we will have this dot next folder but i will delete this folder because there will be cache issues if i don't delete this folder without uh, when when i gonna run something in terminal which will be npm run build so if you if you're gonna build or if you're gonna be uh, deploy your website your next.js website then you have to first delete this dot next folder so going there uh, going there i have to first delete it okay i have deleted it so i will come to my terminal and okay i'm showing you uh, in in bigger screen okay let's just cross it terminal new terminal then i will write here npm run npm run dev this command then after clicking in it this will be deployed and we can see here will be another dot next file and here will be a out folder uh, the dot next folder actually and there will be the out folder and we will need that out folder for uploading for deploying it in our uh, cpanel so we can see this is taking loads so let's uh, let's go to our okay let's wait for the uh, for it okay okay sorry sorry i just i just run npm run dev it will be npm run bit sorry for that permanently I'll come over here why this is occurring because it's it's there in my terminal so I have to delete it then I have to come to our terminal and we have to run npm run build npm run build okay so when we click it there will be a dot text fo folder and there will be a out folder and that out folder will be used for uploading it in uh, in C panel actually so you can see it's taking some time to uh, to let itself finished there are generating five static pages it will be a static website but if you uh, connect uh, apis those will be work smoothly no problems so it's taking some more time so we can see the dot uh, next folder has appeared here and also the uh, out folder appeared here we basically need this folder okay so our main things are our main works are done so i will come up here and we can see there is the out folder so i will just go there and go to the out folder i will zip it and we can see there is an index.html file which is needed for uploading it in uh, uh, in cpanel so i'll name it as next web upload same name okay okay so i have come to my cpanel then after coming to my cpanel i will create a subdomain so let's go to domains and after going to domains let's create a domain then let's name it as next tutorial uh or next start tutorial let's name it as next tutorial then Then my domain so i will create it i'll just copy it for for later use so submit our subdomain is creating okay so we can see our subdomain is created so next tutorial this is and i'll go to the file manager and in here i will upload that out folder uh, from here actually so what i will do i will just upload this out folder in here so it's just boom and i will just extract the folder okay we'll also delete this because we don't need this folder we don't need this file actually for future use so that's all so this is how we have to upload the next.js websites uh the next.js latest version of next.js website which is next.js uh, version 14.0.4 so how to upload this uh, next year's version 14 in cpanel I, I i just have uh, showed to you guys so let's just run the website so if we come to this uh, this subdomain if click then you can see boom so this is what the main website this is what the website we were seeing in our uh, in our local server so if i come up here and if i see npm run or just npm 
start when we just uh, completed the build then we can uh, we can click npm start and our uh, then our um, local server should start but i can run also npm run dev okay so after i'm uh, running npm run dev uh, in there while i run the npm start uh, there were some problems for the out folder but whatever we can uh, we can use npm run dev for showing it locally so let's see if i click it control and click then in here uh it's taking time to let itself reload okay so this is in our uh, in our local server which is local host uh local host 3000 and this is the live server which is uh, next tutorial.html.xyz so we can see uh, this is the process how to upload uh, Next.js websites in uh, in server in cpanel so there are mainly three things i'm gonna wrap up the things again so first of all coming in here we have to delete the dot next folder then we have to create a server.js file and in the server.js file we need to write these codes i will share you the codes in my description box and then we have to go to the next uh, config.js file and there is a uh, there is something we need to uh, we need to just uh, we need to just write that is output export then again uh, in our package.json file we have to indicate that the server.js file uh, the main thing is, the main folder is going to use the server.js file and uh, we need to write in this place uh, node underscore env production node server.js so after that we have to run npm run dev npm run build which will i should say which is npm run build and after doing so there will be a dot next file uh, the dot next folder created and an out folder created then what do we have to do we just have to go to our uh, main folder then uh, to the out folder then we have to go to the out folder and after going there uh, all the things we have we have to zip them and after zipping them we need to come to our cpanel then we have to create a subdomain or the specific domain where we have to upload our website then we have to go to the file manager of that domain that of that uh, specific subdomain or specific domain then we have to go to upload then in here we will come up and we will just drag and drop the, the file and then we will extract the file and boom and our next day's website is uploaded so that's all thank you thank you very much for uh, seeing the entire video i think uh, it was hope uh, it was helpful for you guys so please keep subscribing and please uh, seeing the videos and uh, if you like the videos uh, let me know and if you don't like the videos please uh, give me a comment that why you don't like the video so thank you very much once again from ecosofts